Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So the Colourpop Crystal Collection arrived in the mail just in time for me to film a short video on some swatches and a little review. But unfortunately, I won't be able to really review the setting spray that I got. I got it in a Venturine which was meant for oily skin. And you know, I won't be able to test it out to see if it keeps your face matte throughout the day or if it even has a matte finish. However, I will be face swatching the liquid highlighters that I received in Rose Quartz, Amethyst and Aquamarine as well as the lip balms in Aquamarine and Amethyst. So I'm really loving the packaging that they did for this crystal collection. Everything feels very sturdy and high class. So this is the packaging for the setting spray. The box has a very light holographic sheen to it. It is like a pearlescent holographic and it's truly holographic because it does reflect rainbows. And you have the crystal colour running all over the packaging with some gold glitter on the top. So the setting spray has 55 millilitres of product and this Aventurine setting spray is said to contain real Aventurine, cucumber water, honey cocoa derived from honey to give you a more matte looking finish. The bottle itself looks like this and it is made of glass so that is really good of Colourpop because that will help keep the product fresh for a longer period of time. And the sticker labels are also in the same pearlescent holographic print so it's a really really pretty um, packaging and I love it. So the directions here say to shake it and to spray it an arm's length and that's what we shall do even though I don't really have a lot of makeup on right now because I'm just planning to do a quick video so I just threw on some simple stuff. Alright so I hoped the camera managed to pick up the mist that it created and Coincidentally, I managed to spray this half of my face and this half has no setting spray so we shall see how it turns out in a few moments. So the setting spray feels very cooling and refreshing upon you know, it hitting your face and it has dried down now so over here I have the setting spray and over here I do not have the setting spray and as you can tell, it did give um, quite a matte finish. It's not dewy or shiny and it feels very soft and moisturised. So that is my first impression of it because I can't test it out in the long run as I have a flight to catch. So moving on, I'm going to face swatch the liquid highlighters and they have a similar packaging as well, just that they are slightly smaller than the setting spray. But yeah, the boxes have the same pearlescent holographic sheen to it with the crystal colours running all over the box and golden glitter capped tops as well. So there is a short description of um, what the crystals represent on the lids but I'm not going to go through that because you can read up on all of that on Colourpop's website. So the first colour I'm going to swatch is the Rose Quartz Highlighter and this one has got like a golden base with a pink um, sheen to it. The pink is very very slight and almost not obvious. It's more of like a golden highlighter to be honest. Colourpop describes this as a rose gold infused with crushed rose quartz crystals and it comes in a pump bottle with a glass body as well so that's good and there are 25 milliliters of products in each bottle and the liquid highlighters are nine dollars each so that is slightly more expensive than their usual highlighters i forgot to mention that the setting spray was six dollars for 55 milliliters of products so i think that is on par with other drugstore brands out in the market now this Liquid highlighter pump isn't the easiest to use. Like it's not easy to control how much you pump and how much comes out. So when you pump it, it kind of forces you to use up that full pump because of how difficult it is to control. So that is just one downside of the packaging that I found while swatching it. I think liquid highlighters apply best with a sponge but I've got mine packed in my luggage. So I'm going to go in with my fingers and you can see one pump is quite generous in amount and you definitely do not need this much if you're just planning to highlight your cheekbones. But you can also mix this in with your foundation or other lotions and you know put it all over your face or your body to give it that extra sheen. 
So this rose quartz color looks really sheer and kind of blends in with my skin. So I think it's kind of hard to tell on camera the true color of it, but you can tell from my arm swatch that it's quite golden. On my face, it seemed a little bit more pink, um, like more peachy pink because the gold base is quite strong. And you know, if it looks white on camera, it's because I put on a really thick layer so that the color can show off better on camera, but in person, you can totally blend it out. And you don't really have that um, white base showing up so much on your cheekbones. Next is the Amethyst or Amethyst um, Crystal Liquid Highlighter, and this is a lavender with a pink flip infused with crushed amethyst crystals. So, the color for this is like a pinky purple. It's not fully purple, but it does have a white base underneath. So, if you pile on too much, it can look like you have, you know, something white on your cheekbones. These liquid highlighters do not really dry down throughout the day, so they will continue to have this oily feeling on your skin. It's not terrible, it's not extremely oily, but some of you may not like to have that on your face. So you can stay away from liquid highlighters or you can top them up with powder highlighters to set the liquid highlighter and set your face so that it feels more matte and smooth and dry to the touch. Finally, we have Aquamarine and this is described as a blue with a violet flip infused with crushed Aquamarine crystals. And it is quite true to description because I think this is more of like a blue-violet color. It's got a mix of blue and purple shimmers in it. And one thing about these liquid highlighters is that they do not have chunky glitters in them. It's all very, very fine shimmers. So it's nothing chunky and it just blends in very well. So if you're looking for iridescent highlighters that aren't full of glitter, then you might want to consider these because these have a very subtle shimmer and you can start off with very very sheer amount and control how much you want to put on so you can have like a subtle glow or a blinding glow depending on how much you put on. But as I've mentioned, um, the Amethyst and Aquamarine one have got a white base so putting on too much may result in having a white undertone under your cheekbones and that's not very pretty. But I do think it's fun to mix and match these colours, especially the purple and blue ones so you can create sort of like a unicorn highlight or a magical iridescent um, glow. So I think these are fun to mix around with and they are very very trendy and in colours for summer right now. Now moving on to the Crystal Lip Balm, this is how the packaging of the boxes look like. It's just the colour of the crystals all around with some gold glitter. And the tube itself looks very very sturdy and feels sturdy and heavy enough. There is 3.25 grams of product in this lip balm and it is $5, so I think Colourpop gave us a little bit more product this time around. The packaging of the tube itself feels very sturdy and not cheap at all, like there is no flimsy part of this tube. So this shade is Aquamarine and it is an opalescent blue infused with crushed aquamarine crystals. And on the box here it says it contains pure vitamin E to keep your lips smooth and useful. You can wear these alone or as a lip topper but I'm going to show you guys how it looks like as a lip topper because I've done some arm swatches of how it looks like alone and it looks very very opalescent, almost like the liquid highlighters except in lip balm form and it applies on very very smoothly and evenly and my arm swatches were like three swipes so it's quite pigmented and you don't really have to spend an entire day working on it. So these have a light citrusy scent and they smell really good. So I've just topped my lip colour with some of this Aquamarine lip balm and you can see that it has a blue sheen to it right now and it's really really magical and so fun to play with with other liquid lipsticks and I put it on a matte transfer proof liquid lipstick and none of it came onto my lip balm but putting on a lip balm on top of a liquid lipstick can always change the formulation of it and make it not transfer proof anymore so you might have to be careful. So this is really pretty. I'm going to change my lip colour and apply on the Amethyst shade. So this is the Amethyst 
lip balm on my lips under a dark purple base and this one smells like cucumbers so that's really lovely and I think I really like these crystal lip balms. I might need to pick up rose quartz and aventurine very very soon. But for the moment, these are all the items that I picked up from the crystal collection. I hope I was able to give you guys a rough idea of how the items look like and perform and yeah. So thanks for tuning in with me, thanks for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed yourself and I'll see you guys soon in my next video. Bye bye!